All right, guys, I decided to drill a few more holes in my boat today. Um, get something I've been planning on doing. Right now, um, with my hydronic heater, which you can see on the helm side, I'm at the helm seat right now at the dash, or at the helm. Um, I've got one vent there, I've got another vent there, and then there's two more down in the cabin. Well, the heater is, um, let's see, I'll turn this on. And the heater is actually below this. I gotta vacuum up my mess. But um, there's not, once I get the, uh, the catch-all, kind of the chart holder slash everything else holder, um, once I get that back in place, there's really no place that the heater can get fresh air from. So I've drilled a couple of three inch holes here so that I can put up vents over the top well, the correct way, so we can get some fresh air coming through into the heater. Because uh, right now, when I turn the heater on, it gives me somewhat of a kind of stale air smell. And uh, it's probably pulling a little bit from through the uh, caulked off silicone uh, hole that goes back into the engine bay. The other thing I did is I finally installed my ram mic, which attaches to here. Now, it may seem silly that. Why would you do that? It's not a short, it's not a small distance. But when I'm running, it's hard sometimes to hear the radio, uh, the VHF radio while I'm running. So I mounted, I bought this when I bought the radio. I just hadn't got around to installing it, but I figured while well, I've got this all unbuttoned, I was gonna get that installed. Um, the nice thing about the RAM mic is it's got a speaker in the mic itself. So I'll be able to hear, put it up to my ear and hear what's going on make it a lot easier than just cranking up the VHF and then it gets distorted. So anyway, that's what's going on. If anybody's wondering, that is my battery monitor for my Pro Mariner uh, charger. But uh, anyway, um, I'll take a couple pictures real quick when I'm done uh, screwing the vents in. I'm going to throw some uh, 400, or excuse me, uh, 3M4000 behind it to seal those off. But anyway, that's it for right now.